All right, everybody's looking at me. I don't know why. Uh, let me give you a statistic that I heard over at Baptist Hospital at sort of a staff meeting that's very, very worrisome. If you look at the 65 rural hospitals in Oklahoma, guess what their average patient census is. So this is the smallest 65 rural hospitals in Oklahoma. It's 10. That's their average daily census, 10. Now, if you subtract the, the 10 biggest hospitals and you're left with 55 of the smallest, their average patient census is four. Remember, a hospital has to have all kinds of things, a lab, an ER, x-ray. That's really, really expensive. How can hospitals survive with patient censuses like that? Well, they can't, and we've had hospitals close. We've had some hospitals stay open because municipalities passed a penny sales tax. And, and of course, that was partly why the, the penny tax that we voted on last year didn't, didn't pass. You know, if, if municipalities need to do that in the future to keep a hospital open, they, they won't be able to do that if we had passed that penny tax last year. So rural health care is a major problem. Now, maybe we sh those hospitals shouldn't exist. Maybe they should close. That's a discussion I think we need to have. And some of you, in fact, at, at our table, we were talking about nurse practitioners. And there was a nurse practitioner bill that we looked at. And, and here's what I'll tell you about nurse practitioners. Our health care system cannot function without nurse practitioners. We have to have them. We have to have them. And they need to be supervised appropriately, okay? Are there nurse practitioners in this state that are not being supervised appropriately? I actually have a, an interim study on that. And if that's the case, we need to fix that. So I'm going to predict that the Supreme Court does nullify what we did. So will we have to have a special session? I, I presume we will. Either that or, or we'll, we'll have to cut our current budget dramatically. And, of course, most of those dollars uh, from the cigarette fee went to the health care authority. So I, I don't think we can slam the health care authority that much. I think we have to have a special session. But if we have a special session, we have the same problem we had during session. We have a significant number of far-right conservatives, Republicans, who won't vote for these revenue-generating bills, and a significant number of Democrats as well. We, we, I, don't know, I don't know what we're going to do in a special session. I, I do know we're going to spend $30,000 a day. 